Chapter 1. The Battle Begins. Fort Mercenary! There's something that just feels so clean about these GameCube games. Good morning, Ike. Today's your first day as a professional soldier, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm ready to go. What you are is late. The others were suited up and ready at the break of dawn. Sorry, I'll get up earlier from now on. So what's my first job? I'm talking with Titania right now. Wait outside until we're done. Yes, sir. Very well, Commander Grail. Shall we continue? You were telling me about some bandits that needed taken care of, weren't you? Correct. The request comes from a nearby village. According to our reports, the bandits are not all that strong. I think it best if I ride out and take a look. I plan on taking Oscar and Boyd along with me. Just the brothers? Hmm. Go ahead and add Ike to your team. Sheenon, Gatry, and I can handle the other two jobs easily enough. Titania, I'm leaving Ike in your care. I'm trusting you to show him the ropes. Understood, Commander. Come on, Ike. Let's get you, let's get you set up. All right. My first job. Captain Titania, preparations are complete and I'm ready to go. Impeccable timing. It's nice to know we could always count on you to be at the ready, Oscar. Don't forget about me. I'm ready for action. Is that so, Boyd? That's a surprise. Ha! Not today it isn't. As of today, I'm going to be an absolute model of perfection. I need to set a good example for Ike. I'll take your word for it. Your first campaign at last. I know you've wanted this for quite a while. Are you nervous, Ike? I think I was more nervous last night. I could hardly sleep. This morning, I'm feeling pretty good. It's the calm before the storm. You should try to relax. You're not going to be out there alone. Yeah, you're right. Right, everyone ready? Let's go. Oscar doesn't really like have much, doesn't stand out much to me, so his voice might change a lot. And I apologize for that. What a beautiful village and man, for all, being only five buildings, that uh, that mansion is uh, is like, what's the word I'm looking for? Extra. All right, let me, let me explain what's going on. This is a map of Caldea. They've hired us to drive off some bandits. We're the blue marks here. The red dots are the bandits. There aren't many of them, but we can't get careless. The one in front, uh, in front of the building up north is their leader. Why are you talking about me? Our mission is to take him out and recapture that building. Ike, listen up. This is st all this stuff is old news to me, but I can give a rookie like you a few tips. First off, don't let yourself get worked up and jump out in front of everyone. You'll just end up getting hurt. Don't try to do too much, Ike. When things get dangerous, you can and should rely on us. As long as you watch how the enemy moves uh, carefully, you'll be fine. Think of this as a training mission. I'll do that. Oscar, Boyd, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Just sit back and watch how a professional handles things. Enough chit-chat, you three. We've got work to do. All right. Ike, before you engage an enemy, take a good look at his weapon. The weapon you use often determines who has the upper hand in a fight. For example, the axe I'm wielding serves me well against lances, but fares well uh, less well against swords. And my lance is great against swords, but not against axes. And to complete the triangle... Ah, my sword. It's strong against axes, but weak against lances, right? Yes, exactly. If you can remember that, you'll be far more effective in combat. That's just the basics, though. This will come in handy soon enough, so don't forget it. Swords over axes. I won't forget. Not if I remember that I'll always have an advantage over you, Boyd. Do you think maybe you could find a different way of remembering? Yeah, thanks. And one more thing. Don't forget to visit the locals. We're here to help, after all. The villagers are, should welcome our presence. So, we've got a few new uh, units to go over. Starting off with Boyd, our first and only fighter. Fighters generally have a high-risk, high-reward uh, battle style to them. They are, they excel greatly in strength and in HP, but suffer more when it comes to accuracy in their defenses. Because axes in general are not a very accurate weapon to begin with, they're and also heavy. Uh, skill is gonna be a very, uh, skill and, yeah, skill is gonna be a very important uh, um, stat to try to uh, get leveled up. If you can, there are items along the way that can bolster that, but you, they're they're few they're uh, few and uh, they're far and few. So if you want to use Boyd, you really have to make sure you want to use Boyd. 
uh, just as well. He's got the first instance of something here that I haven't gone over yet. An ability, or a skill rather. Tempest doubles biorhythm effect. That means instead of the plus, uh, the maximum plus five and minimum plus of minus five, um, he can get for the plus five bonus maximum and the plus f minus five penalty maximum he can get from biorhythm. That changes to plus ten and minus ten. And looking at his biorhythm now, he's kind of on the downswing, so it's probably going to be, uh, it's it probably just evens out for now. Whew. Uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, his stat gains also f more facilitate strength and HP over anything else. Uh, him being able to have more skill is very useful, and plus strength counters counteracts weight, so even if his speed's not very high, the fact that he'll be able to wield an axe with ease might allow him to get second hits in, depending on, uh, what your, you know, what your opponent's got. Next up on our list... It is a class that I'm going to refer to as a Weapon Knight. Oscar, a Lance Knight, our first mounted unit on this one as well. Um, n these mounted knights uh, excel in different types of weapons, and Oscar in particular excels in lances. Uh, mounted units have increased movement. Uh, as you saw with Boyd and Ike, they have a movement of 6, and Oscar has a movement of 8, allowing him to get around the battlefield much faster. Uh, he is well-rounded in both his stats and his uh, his. Uh, gains as well as his level up gains. And he's also one of the more defensive unit, units you get right off the bat. Uh, on top of that, mounted units also have the advantage of after they perform an action, they can move again if they have any of their movement left over. So it works out great for them. Uh, the downside is that his, his defense gains are pretty low, which can cause issues if he's not gaining defenses to be able to tank hits like he should. On top of that, being mounted it grants him certain weaknesses to other, to specific types of weapons that we will find later on. Finally, let's look at Titania. Those stats do not lie, and the and there is a reason for that. She is a promoted unit. She is the promoted version of the Axe Knight, the Axe version of Oscar's class. Incredibly strong, incredibly bulky, is going to be taking down enemies with great ease, but there are two drawbacks to that. One, because she's already so high level, uh, she is not going to be gaining a lot of experience. And two, if you rely on her too heavily, you're going to be robbing experience from the other units uh, on here. Paladins are pretty good. They're fairly balanced. Pa uh, Titania is the only unit we have right now with any resistance, so it works out if we ever come across any magic units. Spoilers, we're not going to be doing that for a while. But the best strategy with Titania early on, if you intend on not using her... Oh, the other weakness I didn't go over is that because she's promoted and her stat gains are kind of like middling at best, she's going to peak very early on. Whereas the other units you have have room to grow. Uh, ti once Titania reaches her max level, that's it. You can no longer level, level her up. Um... Probably, probably obviously at this point, but like the base units of like Ike, uh, Boyd, and Oscar have the chance to grow into advanced classes like the Paladin. But they can't. But once you're an advanced class, you can't go any further beyond that, and you can't reclass to anything else. At least in this game. Um, Titania's main strategy is to unequip her weapons, put her in the front lines, and lure enemies to her. She will not be taking any damage. Um, on top of that, in case of emergency, she's a great rescuer as well. As a mounted unit, she can run up to an ally who is having issues, rescue them, and then bring them back to outside of a, uh, out of the enemy's range. Um, she's very good early on, but not great past that. Now that we got that, let's begin this. First and foremost, what I'm going to do is have Titania come over to Oscar. Nope, that's Boyd. And trade him the Steel Axe. Then I'm going to bring her over here. Next up, uh, I do want to take a look at these guys' range. If you hit A over over an enemy, you can see uh, what their range is and how far they'll be able to go. In hard mode, there will be more units in this fight, spawning kind of around this area, so you'll have more to deal with. Oh, we haven't gone in there yet. So now he's got the steel axe. Let me check over here to see what we got. Iron axe against this guy. And once you choose a weapon, you can always see, like, what the outcome of the battle may or may not be. For example... This unit has 24 HP, and I deal 11 damage to it with Boyd's Axe. If I want to take a higher risk and lose 10 uh, hit, 
by using the Steel Axe, uh, it will only take two turns for Boyd to take this guy down. So, let's do that. Coming in there. Oh my god! Wait a minute! Who are you? I'm you, but white hair? Unfortunately, Boyd missed. Uh, he does have a vulnerary, so that should be fine. There is a sword fighter coming up here. Okay. Let me go ahead and, oh, right. There is a small quirk with this game. If you skip the tutorial, Ike's inventory gets filled with iron swords. It might be a good idea to trade off, um, to trade those off with, uh, with uh, somebody else, just so in case you pick up an item, you don't have to throw something away. Uh, Ike is gonna get two attacks in for 16 damage total on this one. Attack minus defense, and they're gonna get one hit on him for six damage, if they hit, because they only have an uh, accuracy of 46. Smack! Damn. Well, we lost that coin flip, but hopefully the next one will be more favorable. Next up, because of how Oscar works, I'm gonna go ahead and trade with Ike, just to take one sword off of him. Then I'm gonna move over here and see if I can't lure the sword, sword guy over. Let's see how this phase of the battle goes. What's going on out there? Is this some sort of army? Pah, bunch of mercenaries looking for their next meal. The villagers must have hired him. Listen up, lads! Hurt him and hurt him bad! We let this bunch live, we'll have hordes of hired swords hounding us for the rest of our days. As if there's those fool villagers. They think they can buy a bunch of cell swords to chase us away. It ain't gonna work out how they wanted. All they give for their trouble is a bunch of ruined houses. Tear them down, boys! I'll teach them! Village houses that have the doors open can be taken down by enemy units. Hopefully I'll be better equipped for this one. Man, alive! I think Boyd is gonna be here for a while. Fortunately, the axe guy is going for Ike as opposed to, you know, doing the smart thing. Having bad fortune like this early on is a pain in the patoot. -da 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 -da. Another level up, Ike is level three. He gains skill, defense, and resistance. Not bad, I would have preferred a little bit of extra strength and speed, but you get what you pay for. Coming with the iron sword. Also, a knight having very, wow, I am having very poor luck this time around. I'm gonna move, let's see. A little bit of an inherent risk here. Uh, I would love to get Oscar over to this house. Let's have Titania visit here. Ah, here with the mercenaries, right? Thank you for coming. We've heard a lot about you. Here, take this weapon. We're farmers, not fighters. Maybe you'll get some use for it. Got a steel sword. Uh, to which... I'm gonna move, let's see. I have to move Titania. I'm gonna move her up here and wait. Uh, Boyd is still good since this guy deals seven damage, so I can still get get his goat, as it were. Iron Lansom, hopefully I'll actually hit this time for 10 damage. Actually, maybe I should go in with Ike first. Hit him with the Iron Sword. It'll take a little bit of a bruising, but it would be good to get the damage off so that way uh, Oscar can finish him off. Just gotta be wary of the amount of health I've got left going into the next few fights here. Oscar can come around here, hopefully finish him off with the Lance. I've been having such bad luck with this. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six. He'd be able to attack Ike. Oh wait, I'm still, I still have to move him. Uh. Ugh. How much? How much damage is he dealing? 
12 to Ike's, what was it, 6 defense? Yeah. I could be able to survive that. I'm gonna go against the weapon triangle here just to try to try to finish this guy off. Uh, this is not advised and may result in Boyd's death. Son of a bitch! Boyd! The hell! Fortunately, he decided to go for Ike. Uh-oh! However... Hey, what's the other guy gonna do? Oh god! No! Dodge! No! Oh, not here. Ike, hang on, you're so young, your life is just beginning. Please, open your eyes. Ike! Yeah, so I came over it on the first chapter. Oh. All right, let's rush through it then. This is probably the best chance to start back up because the amount of, uh, the amount, the, what skills I gets from leveling up change every single time you level up. So even if, so, I wouldn't say resetting the level up is a viable strategy, but God, <laughs> you do what you can sometimes. All right, let me go ahead and visit this again. We'll get the steel sword and then bring her like all the way up here. It really doesn't matter. Missed again with uh, with Boyd and the axe the first time, but I didn't miss the second time. Uh, that deals 14 damage. I'm gonna risk the steel axe again. Let's go! There we go, good lord. Oh, this is something I forgot to mention about uh, weapon rank. Uh, it levels up as you use certain weapons. What does, what does that mean for you? Well, what that means is, uh, is when you use, uh, if you use heavier weapons, it will actually level up faster. Oh, thank goodness. Fun fact, this game is how I learned about the term Myrmidon. I've never heard of Myrmidons before, until this very day. Uh, he's still full health, right? Yeah. Can't wait till I get a healer. Oh, here he comes. Watch out, boy. Help. Oh, here he comes. Uh. I'm gonna, let's see, steel axe. Let me see what this guy's avoid is. Five, good lord. What does that make? Hit with 70. Okay, so that's about what I was dealing with before. All right. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't move. On, uh, he probably moves on hard difficulties, but I'm not 100% confident in that one. Move back here. Unfortunately, there aren't really a support bonus for being for being close by somebody, so that's out the window. Uh, he's got a better chance of hitting. Um, six damage versus nine damage. Oh, and he hits twice. A stab. Stab. That's not a stab. That's not a stab at all. I don't know why stab at all sounds like a uh, like a prescription drug. Ask your doctor if Stabitol is right for you. Side effects of Stabitol may include bleeding from the orifices, bleeding from various other parts of your body, the taste of steel in your mouth. Uh, I think I'll actually wanna, yeah, let's go ahead and trade him the steel sword. Steel weapon. Let's go over the differences here. First off, three more might, it's rank D, 15 less hit, and five more weight. 
So you kind of have to... So uh, the upgraded weapons aren't necessarily better. Because of the weight of them, uh, it could make it more difficult to get multiple hits on. Thus, the Iron Sword would get more chances to hit and possibly deal more damage. So that guy comes out and just goes for... Yeah. I didn't go... Wait. Oh, was, oh right. They're focused on going for these. So he just didn't even bother to attack. Well, that's good because I forgot to do what I was going to do with Boyd. Uh, Steel Sword. That's only a plus three. So right here, you can see that I'm dealing 10 damage with Ike on him. And I've got an attack speed of eight. So he's dealing 20 damage with that. If I use the Steel Sword, it's dealing 13 damage, but I only get one attack. So I'm going to stick with the Iron Sword on this one. Unless Boyd's Axe deals more damage. 13 versus the Steel Sword's attack of 13. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll, I will go with the Steel Sword just to try to level up his, uh, his ability faster. Plus, I'd really like to get Boyd uh, a, a, a level up. If that were the case. Uh, yes. Take that, lumbering bald man! <laughs> K.O. You win! Alright, and then let's have Oscar lure this guy out. Can't believe I... Can't believe I beefed it on the first mission. Since those bandits took over, we can't even sleep at night. Please, help us save our village. Here, my mother left me this. I hope it serves you well. A Seraph Robe! That increases the HP of a unit by five permanently. I think I'm gonna give that to Ike, because he's at a lower HP than a lot of our other units around here. Stab. A good old stab and grab. Once again, this guy isn't moving, so we're okay there. Uh, Boyd. Boyd, oh Boyd. Boyd! I got a proposition for you. Hit this guy. 62% chance to hit. Let's see if I'm lucky. Nope. All I wanted him to do was get a nice little level up. A nice little nest egg, as it were. I'm giving Ike the Seraph robe. Uh, up improvement items in this. Early on in the game, and possibly for the rest of the game, you could only use them in the battlefield. <laughs> Gotta use the steel, steel sword and risk not getting the hits I need. Smack. Uh. I'm not sure if I want to use Boyd. I haven't really planned that far ahead. But, uh, does he have anything that he drops? He drops his iron axe. And he's full, so I'm actually gonna have Oscar come up here and trade with him just to take another iron sword off of him. Oh shoot, I've been using like multiple iron swords. Oh no, I haven't, that's just the guy, okay. Since this guy doesn't move on normal difficulty, I could just like come right up to him here and be like, boom, Seraph robe. I'm pretty sure you can only use upgrading items in the middle of battle as opposed to like in, in like the convoy, but that might change later on. Let's go ahead and have him use a vulnerary. Super useful, considering. Just want to check damage on this one. I'd be dealing seven to him and only attacking once. Titania deals 15 damage and attacks twice. It is so hard to make her work to, to make her work with you at this point. She uh, she is she is for all intents and purposes a shield. How much damage am I taking from this guy? Seven. I've got 14 health left. But I also might be dodging it. Actually, what about the Iron Sword? I attack twice with that. I'm dealing seven damage. I figure we wait. How much health does he have? 29, okay. Let me go ahead and use my another Charge of Vulnerary. Uh, he's fine for now. How much damage will he take from this guy? Uh, he'd take nine. He's got 19 health. Okay, you know what? This kind of this works out sort of in a way that I want it to. My turn comes around. Go up to him. Iron sword. Attack him. If I crit, I crit. So whatever. But I'm not at risk of dying right out. 
Hey, you're nothing but a boy. Well, every brat needs a beating now and then. Are you ready for it? Not today. If you want to run away, now's your chance. <laughs> Imagine that, you sassing me. Don't that beat all. Don't that beat all. And a little bit of a little little bit of experience there. We can just end because he's going to attack him again. Ooh, forgot about that. Forgot about the fact that that is a healing tile. There are environmental factors in this that can affect the uh, the, the way things go. Because he is on a healing tile, he heals up a small percentage of his health each turn. On top of that, uh, he I don't know if, if that so look at the top left there. Objective, you can see the like what it offers. Um, if you go over to a thicket, you get plus 10 avoid and plus 1 defense if you're hiding in one. There's a few other ones, uh, that we'll go over as we come across them as well. Ah, I hurt. Boyd, you should finish him off. Alright, so even if I miss, I should be fine. You looking for something, fool? You looking for a fight? <laughs> you came to the right place. I'll give you a tussle. Shit. Ugh. I'm meant for better than this. I don't want to die here. Uh, uh. Nice little level up for Boyd. Let's see what he's uh, what he's dealing with. Honestly, that's about as good as you can get with Boyd. Improved skill, improved strength, and improved. And he got an iron axe for it. And because the condition is seize, all I had to do was beat this guy and then have Ike seize on here to clear the map. That's the end of it. Ike, are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. You know, you surprised me. To think that you've come so far. Look at my father, though. I've still got such a long way to go. There's nothing you can do about that. After all, Commander Grail is... Huh? What about my father? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Well, now I'm really curious. Don't worry, you'll learn all about it someday. Hey, Ike, that wasn't bad for your first battle. Not as flashy as my first time, though. Yeah. You were a real sh standout. I'll never forget the sight of you so keyed up you broke your own axe. Oscar, dang it, you didn't have to bring that up. Anyway, Ike, congrats on finishing your first mission. Welcome to the group. Everyone's all right? Then let's get going. I'm sure Mist has a nice hot meal waiting for us. If you lose anybody in battle, uh, the end dialogue there will be different, depending on who's still left alive. But anyway, next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, uh, I guess we're gonna have that nice hot meal and then continue on Ike's mission through, not his mission, his progress through the Grail Mercenaries and becoming the greatest mercenary beating his dad. See you all then, later!